Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Squishy! You want to tell them what's going on, buddy? Uh, so, we have a little bit of an issue since yesterday, you guys. Look at this! Our baseboards grew! And the crown moldings disappeared! It's like... <laughs> Rip design, man. Rip da, my design, da, da, for sure. Da, no, da, da, not that kind of rip, Squishy. Da, da, no, Squishy! Da, da, da. Oh, God. Anyway, the the problem with this is I don't have any crown moldings anymore. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Now it kind of looks like Wayne's coat, right? But still and all, that, that sucks. Anyway, um, today I'm going to mess with a dining room design without Wayne's coat or baseboards or crown moldings. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a dining room. So I started playing around with these uh, executive floor tiles, guys. Now these place a, a number of different ways. You got the original one, like we had over in the foyer. You have these that I just placed. You have these, which I think would be a little bit better for a kitchen, not a dining room. And you have this weird one. Whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, anyway, I'm doing these. Now, the cool thing about this tile is it's very close to the other tile with the black circles. And that's going to be great for a kitchen, which is going to adjoin to this room somehow. Um, not in the typical threshold that we've been having here either. Um, as far as this, this goes very, very straight right now, which I don't know how to feel about. I might switch the... the, the well, the entryway to the, these rooms um, a little bit over sooner or later. But right now, I'm, I'm just going to go with what I know. So, I've been playing around with a table design. And I wanted to get something 3 by 5 But I tried to pull off so many different designs and I did not like them. Um, my friend Faith Gaming sent me a, a little bit of... Well, he sent me a design that he thought would look great for a table, and it does. So let's just do this. Let's see. If we do, I'm, I'm just gonna show you this design right quick. It's it's real, real simple. So if you take, now that these go at the top, it's really, really simple too, right? So if you take these and put them across, you can have a relatively flat table, but it's kind of picnic-y, okay? So let's just raise these and I'll show you what else you can do here, or you can lower two. I don't care that much about it. You can use these blocks right here, which is the western walls. You press Q a couple times, and they go. That's the ones that we've been using for posts. And you can go ahead and open up all of these to where it's down. Now, if this would be dark wood like this, I, I would consider it. But it's kind of picnic-y the way it looks. It, it, it does the job for a table, but for a dining room, I think I want something a little bit more elegant. So thanks again, Fates. Um, I'm, I'm planning on, I might use it with this. Look at this. Y'all remember yesterday? It was sitting all nice and pretty. Look at this. My table is levitating off the rails. I don't know, man. We had a good little deal yesterday, and it ain't going to happen. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do today, I think, is just do a table that works, okay? And I've been playing around with these Magic Academy tables, and I like them a lot. They are elegant. The chairs that go with them are great, too. So I'm trying to get a, a layout for the measurement. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, this is going to be a wall. So that's not really a floor tile. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay? So we want the table to be at least probably two by three, I'm thinking. So if we were to go eleven. We would need the very center of the room, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that correct? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And now we go on either side with it, and now we have a two by three table. I originally wanted this to be three by five, but it turns out that three by five is impossible with using this. Um, you can do a, a square table. 
uh, and really get some some nice centerpieces or whatever, but I, I'm okay without it. So let's go ahead and place the chairs now. And we do have some chairs. I mess with this in creative so much, y'all. It's crazy. Uh, another thing I'll show you that's really interesting for the good of um, for the good of science. There we go. Um, we'll do six just like that. And this would look so good if there would be a head of the table, but you can't put it you can't put it anywhere else. So this is this is gonna have to work, but. It's a really nice color. I like this. I really wish I had some brown paint so that I could complement the uh, the colors that I'm about to use. I'm going to use these dark oak accents uh, in the walls, and the walls are going to be relatively flat, just like they were in, um, well, the walls are going to be this color, I believe, unless there's something else that I come across that I like, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to set the walls as the um, the white so there's going to be a lot of white in the room, okay? <laughs> a ton. But I'm going to throw it off with a bunch of dark wood, and it's going to look fine, I do think, okay? So um, we got to figure out how white it's going to be, first of all. So let's take, do I have my Mediterranean walls on me? I have some Mediterranean walls. So if we did just like that, let's see. Let's just make a 2 by 3 here and just see what it's going to look like. Man, it is very, very, very white. I might have to shift. It would it would all be so much better if I can actually just change this, but it doesn't work like that. Let me think on the walls for a little bit, guys, and I'll be right back. So I decided to do dark wood walls and, of course, the Mediterranean walls for the ceiling. And the reason that I chose this is that I'd like to accent the ceiling with some of the dark wood walls and opposite as well. And how do I am how am I going to do this? Well, I'm not <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. Um what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run the dark wood like beams, okay? So if I would take let's see. We'll start it off here, I think. Okay, we'll start it off here, and we're, we're going to do two. Now, these beams are going to stretch all the way here, and then they're going to come out probably... Well, there's not that much space in the door. What we could do is have them go... Just stop right there. That would be okay. So, bear with me just a little bit, you guys. We'll have the first one drop right here. Is that correct? Yeah. And then, oh, actually, no. <laughs> it needs to be this one. So this one needs to go. And then I'll, I'll explain to you in just a moment, you guys. And that one needs to go. Okay. So we basically need... This path cut out, and we need to be able to put the dark wood all along this way. That's what we need to do. So we're going to need to put ceilings again and then come back and remove these. So in order to do this, let me just quickly get a brace. There we go. All right, now I can remove these two. And we basically just cover all of this up like we did... The first time just to get the walls up initially. And what's gonna happen is we're doing we're gonna do beams. Or should we do beams one further down? Like mm, that may be a little intrusive. If we had some way of doing half slabs, it would look great. But we can't. So what I was thinking originally is, let me just go ahead and use that. What I was thinking originally is right where I'm placing these blocks, not that one. Right where I'm placing these blocks, we could have did the dark wood and just striped it as and 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 had it extrude from the ceiling like that. But that looks kind of weird now that I'm thinking about it. And also, I might actually want it to stretch down right here. And for me to do that, I would have to do opposite 
Yeah, so... Hmm. So I'm gonna have to do regular Mediterranean walls here. And here. Or just make a white stripe, actually, not there. Let's just do one in between, so it doesn't look too gaudy at first. I know I'm all over the place, you guys, but it'll make sense in just a second. Uh, let's see. So we'll grab this, and that'll be white. Alright. Perfect. So, the white is going to stretch all the way across. And honestly, I think it should come down right here instead. So, let's take this away. And we'll do it like that. Again, these are just placeholders, so this can go away. And instead of this, oh, actually, hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Just like that. So I'll have the stripes doing that number. Well, that's just on the opposite wall. Hmm. I think I, I already regret my decision. I already regret my decision. Let's do it right here instead. Just like we were going to before. But if that's the case, then the door... It's kind of going to kind of get in the way of the door. No, it's not. Not if we do white right here. It's fine. I, I am getting confused with my thoughts a little bit, you guys. Alright. Very good. So I have a stripe coming down here. And we're going to do dark wood on the ceiling above this to kind of make that stripe. So, let's go on top. Uh, there. <laughs> I was about to say, where is my little entrance? Okay. And we are going to pull all of these out. And turn them, turn it into dark wood. We're just using this as a guide, right? Okay, perfect. And same thing here. I didn't really know how this design was going to work out until I started doing it. Okay, now, again, we're not using dark wood ceilings because they look ridiculous. <laughs> they really do. Um, well, they don't look ridiculous, but it's like a diamond pattern. I don't know what they were thinking in this game. The underneath of ceilings don't look real good uh, for most textures, uh, to be perfectly honest. All right. Okay, so this is done. Now, if I go down below, we could stop highlighting this. Go down below... And I pull these. It's going to have the dark oak stripe. Okay. Kind of like support beams. I don't know if I want to do three here. But two seems right. We might do another... Just to make the stripes look a little bit better. Because if we did the two stripes here. So we'd have to do one more design. We might do something a little bit different as well. Let's think about this, okay? We have it going over two walls like this. As a border, I don't know if it would look better as a border to the room. Well, we can't really do it as a border to the room, can we? We would have to do the inside here. So, hmm. I think I'm going to go with one more and see how it looks. All right, guys. I got the third one up. And I have to say, it looks really, really cool going into the door like that. So, we have a really, really, really cool design, I think. Now, the walls look a little bit bare. So, I want to do... Now, this is naturally going to be the entrance to the kitchen, and it's probably going to be relatively large. We're going to have probably two on either side 
just to separate the actual room. So it's not going to be a too wide corridor right here. And it may even be offset, right? Um, and if it's offset, I'm probably going to offset it on this side. Uh, but what we need is a little bit of shelving. And I think, like, I want to go with the same theme as this. So I think I'm going to do an elongated shelf at the top. Or should I go at the bottom and, and, and have it go shorter? So how about this? Let's do... All right, that's probably far enough. Okay, and this will be the next shelf. But this one is going to be shorter by like two, I think. That should, that should be fine. Okay, uh, now we need to get on the other side of it. <laughs> And clear this out. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll try not to damage my walls too much here. And we're going to put the Mediterranean walls all back here. I'm so glad I formed so much marble because, man, it takes a lot. Okay. And we're going to have to do like a cheap foundation back here, which is fine. Uh, let's see. I think I have some stone foundations or floors or whatever you call it. There we go. Seven. Okay. And now walls back here. And that should cover up both shelves to where you can, can see, you know. Um... So, let's cover it up now all the way. Okay. And we're going to do... Oh, let's do the foundations first. There we go. And walls. Might as well do this one at a time. That way I don't have to jump and stuff in this tight little corridor. Also, early if my game sounds went out, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it wasn't it wasn't picking them up. Um, oh yeah, that's plenty. I don't need them all the way up. Cool. Okay, so now we just take our wood and bam. So now we got some white accents on the walls and shelves. And let's see our entrance. Come to think of it, we might do the entrance here. So we're gonna have. Probably, if we put the entrance here, we won't need to really decorate this corner. Or do we want to, though? <laughs> That's the thing. Um, how about let's just open it up right now, okay? Let's just go for it. It's going to be a really large entrance. Probably even one more from there. All right, that's going to be the entrance into the kitchen. So we are going to block this off with white like we normally do. I could just put big doors in here or something like that, but it's fine. Uh, this is going to be open, and it's just going to lead into the kitchen, but right now... I just want to be able to put down something that will symbolize, like, the next entrance. It just kind of gives me a feel for, like, what I need to focus on as far as space. Because decorating is all about filling empty space, right? It's about, hey, this spot looks empty. What can we put here? You know, that's, that's kind of how I work anyway. So, yeah, it's going to go in there. It kind of looks big like a garage door. <laughs> but that's cool. Okay, so... What I can see now is that we're going to need to put a few things up here. Uh, we're going to need to put a carpet and a couple of pieces of furniture. This is going to be a good furniture wall right here. Some sort of storage unit. We already have a, a number of different ones to choose from. Uh, this is not actual Mediterranean, even though it shows it. And uh, granted, if you break it, it actually gives you blue dye like the Mediterranean stuff too, which is weird. Um... We have these to choose from, which that doesn't look like really good. I'm willing to bet that this is probably going to be the winner here. 
although I might paint it white. I really don't know. We might, if it if it actually paints white, I might do another Mediterranean storage box here, and we're gonna probably put mostly pots and a few knickknacks on the shelf here to make this look presentable. Um, and I'm thinking thatch carpet, believe it or not. Thatch carpet, I think, would look really good. Maybe the red dragon stuff. I hope I don't need to make red dragon carpet again. We haven't really used it in this room. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably what we're gonna do is red dragon that's a lot of fiber to go harvest but i'll do it i'll do it um i'm gonna i'm gonna try out thatch i hope i can place it underneath the table we'll see so good news is the thatch carpet looks great bad news is i needed to demolish the tables the chairs come up but the tables don't and again they act like mediterranean stuff look at the blue dye on me already so, um, <laughs> I, I ended up putting the thatch carpet down, and I really like the way it looks. It has that, um, it's a little bit Asian-inspired, it looks like. Um, but I, I think my parents had a mat similar to this color in their dark, well, it was like a dark wood grain looking uh, dining room at one point in my youth. So, it looks like it wasn't... Well, I, I wouldn't say it's this fancy. It was a nice house, don't get me wrong, but this is this is fancy, y'all. Anyway, um, what I think I am going to do here is place this thing. Now, when I looked at it a while ago, I don't know. It, I wanted it to go in the center, but it doesn't really have a thing. If I don't, if I put it in the uh, right here, I could do a vase in the corner, which wouldn't look bad. I think that's what I'll do. Let's just go ahead and put it right there. Uh, I wonder what happens if you paint this thing, too. Let's see. White. What would you look like white? Uh, let's see. White. White. Uh... <laughs> it tanned it. It didn't even darken it. Uh, gray? Is this gray? Yes. Oh. Well, that made it kind of match the wall now. Ooh. Ooh. This looks kind of nice. Wow. What a big difference that made. I need some light so bad. This actually looks pretty good. Honestly, I think I'd rather it the other color, but it does look pretty good. Dang it, that means I gotta make another table if I pick them up again. Ah, oh, man. It kills me. Look, blue dye. Sheesh. Well, these can go back like they were. Um, pick up. Pick up. And this erases the paint on them. Oh, not that. There we go. Yeah, I do rather them brown just for this build. But, man, that gray makes it look sweet. All right, let's just do another table here. Uh, let's see. We'll just line it up, just like so, and we'll build the other table in a second. All right, yeah, we'll get the table in a second. Other than that, I think I need to come up with some decorations for this. I do like the way this looks better than the other color, but it doesn't necessarily match. So we need to make one of those as well. And other than that, we need to run some light I should be able to come right over the top right here, and I think I'm going to use some hanging ceiling lights. All right, so to get lights up here is going to be a little chore. I originally wanted the lights to come out on the white corners, but in order to do that, the lights will only stick to ceilings, okay? So it actually has to be a ceiling tile. And that's how the dark wood ceilings look, by the way, which isn't bad for an intersection or a corner or anything like that. Um, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because I just wanted them to hang from the white corners and they don't. So in order for me to do this correctly, I'm just going to need to do ceilings. 
because if I were to put a, I could I could hang this correctly. Like I could replace this tile with a ceiling tile and then hang the light and then try to replace it with a wall. But the wall needs a foundation and the foundation cannot get placed over the light. So it's just going to have to be that way. So I rigged this up, um, which is essentially the ability to get in there and put a ceiling. Okay. So let's go ahead and put down, oops, let's go ahead and put down our wall. That was weird. That wall could fit there. Hold on. No. It was on top. Okay, I saw blue and I was like, wait, hold up. Am I tripping? Did they change the way walls work? Nope, they didn't. All right. Bam. Uh, there we go. This is such a... <laughs> I didn't give myself another head, enough head space, so I got to rig it up all kind of crazy ways. All right, boom. There we go. All right, so now right on top of here, we're going to put this. This is the ceiling, Okay. It's going to be an intersection for that. And I should honestly consider doing one right here, but I don't know how much light is going to be put out by these things because I've never really used them before. So if it's too much light, I'm only going to do one of them. And that seems like the only logical space to put it, to tell you the truth. Okay. So uh, now that we have that, we can put the light down. Uh, while I was up there, I should have ran the wire. Okay, there we go, unpowered. I hope we can color that thing. It wouldn't be too bad. And if, you know, if there was a center, guys, like if there was a center to this table, I would definitely do the center. Like if it was three by five, like I originally wanted to do, I would put it right in the middle. But unfortunately, it's not like that. But that doesn't look bad at all for a light. I like it. Uh, I think it would look better if there was a second light right here. But we'll see how bright this goes. Um, What do I need? Oh. I just need to run the wire. Okay. And I started it. Cable. And I should have a junction box too. Uh, there it is. Okay. Eight. All right, so we're going to try to put this somewhere like right on top would would work out okay. I don't know why I just placed it right there. Yeah, right on top would work out that way. Just like that. Now we'll if we run a light right here and right there, it'll reach both of them no problem. Let's go turn this puppy on and see what it looks like, eh? And Required voltage, 10. Oh, no. I don't have enough electricity for it. Uh-oh. Do I, do I have to run another generator? Oh, no. Okay. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to go destroy a light up top. Dang it, man. That sucks. Um, God, didn't want to do this. Did I put a light on the back? This is one of the reasons why I didn't really go with air conditioners for my base and stuff yet. Don't get me wrong. Petroleum is not a problem at all. With three dung beetles, it's ridiculous. And I wanted this light to be out of here. Oh, man. Okay, right now, guys, I'm just going to power this off. And let's see if this light powers back on. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. Uh, let's eat some food really quick. Okay. Tell me this sucker comes on. It does. Okay. It lights it up pretty good, too, I think. Um, but I can put more. The problem with that is... Oh, I would need to kill another light, I think. Because...
It turns on... Does it yield light? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how this works, y'all. Um, what if I were to turn my generator on and off? No, it's producing light. It just puts it really... It puts it straight down. Honestly, I think I'm going to call that good. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, man. Let me put some more decorations on this and I'll show you guys the final build. So last but not least, guys, I just I was messing around with stuff just to put on these shelves and I saw something pretty cool. Uh, actually, let me make a regular pipe. And there's the weather again. So pipes you can put like almost anywhere, it looks like. Look at this. I can put it almost anywhere. So, if I get on top of the table, for instance, actually I might want to do a little bit. Let's just do it right here. I'll get a little bit higher so I could put it up here. I need to get a little bit further back. There we go. Watch this. Oh, I'm about to fall off, it looks like. I just want to put a decoration up, like something that you could see on the top shelf but can't really make out what it is. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. And actually, let's do another one right here just so I can step backward. There we go. Now, it's kind of weird, okay? But it's something else that you could place on a shelf, and it just looks like something. So, <laughs> I don't know, I should have angled it a little bit more, but for the most part, I like the way it came out. I also put one of the trap doors, just like a cookbook up there, and I'm going to mess around with this and paint it white and see if I can make this look like cabinets. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And I'm going to get right on top. Uh, I might have to do the, uh, the little old pillaring trick again because I can't seem to get on top of them there we go all right start with this one um, that didn't go the way I wanted it to but hey I wonder if they open this way no well I suppose that works it's not quite uh, <laughs> not quite low enough I could put two more I do suppose maybe no, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull these down by one. Uh, let's see. Pick up, pick up. Okay. Yeah, let's put them right here and right here. That way we can paint them. All right. And pick up. There we go. So it's not like a painting, it's more like a little cupboard or a cabinet. I don't know if the regular wood ones would have looked better right here. But it's something. I do like it. Other than that, I probably just need to put a little candle in the wall here. Uh, the gray is going to be the background for this, so it wouldn't look too bad. But guys, that is pretty much the room. I think it came out quite excellent with the candlelight. It might add just a little bit more. Uh, oh, the candle, I'm sorry. <laughs> the candles are right here. Do I, can I not put them in from my hot board? There we go. Light the fire. And it's just a little bit more light. I painted the barrel in the corner. I did a couple of vases. I think all in all, guys, the room is pretty nice. I do like it, and I hope you guys do too. That's going to be it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give us some dap on that like button. Wow. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. And we'll see you next time. Uh.